Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. As the title of this video suggests, we are discussing the ramifications of Thai tax policy and whether or not it might, for lack of a better term, run off a bunch of retirees here in Thailand. Now, to be clear, I've made other videos. This video is not meant to freak people out. It, it, and there's probably going to be parts that may be frustrating because, again, this is sort of a nebulous topic. But long story short, again, I've said it before, I'll say it again, 80% of folks here in Thailand, especially foreigners, are probably never going to have any problem with this. Now, as I've said in other videos, we may see a time where a retirement visa extension does involve a tax, a tax return of some sort. I'm not saying that's a foregone conclusion. I'm also not saying it's impossible. I don't think it's overly likely, especially anytime soon, but it could happen. That being said, I thought of making this video after reading a recent article from the Patia Mail. That's patiamail.com. Article is titled, Foreigners and Their Overseas Income, What Next? Quoting directly, but if all expats living here for half a year or so are thrown into the same pit willy-nilly, then Thai authorities can expect non-working, long-stay expats to become an endangered species. So when they say long, you know, Long stay, non-working, well, that's a retiree, basically. Quoting further, imagine the note on official publicity for one-year extension for elite visas, quote, you are reminded that you are required to register with the Thai revenues, again, I think they mean revenue departments, tax identification system if staying in Thailand more than 180 days in a calendar year. Not exactly marketing. Yeah, true. I do see the point among a lot of the expats out here that, you know, this isn't a great look for Thailand in the sense that, you know, it kind of freaks people out, the thought of taxes. That being said, it really is worth noting, Thailand was anomalous in terms of the rules that were in place prior to Jan 1 of 2024. The rest of the world has always been on this system. Thailand just had carved out this little, this sort of little niche in their law or in their regulations regarding timing of funds brought into the kingdom. But really, fundamentally, nothing has really fundamentally changed. And in fact, I think there were tons of people, even under the old rules, that arguably could have been liable for tax. They just, you know, it just didn't happen, you know, at the end of the day. Now, again, moving forward, especially with the digitization of the bureaucracies associated with not only tax, tax policy, tax liability, but also tax collection. Yeah, I can see a scenario arising in the future where, yes, taxes are a more... Or I guess tax enforcement, if you will, is a more in-your-face thing. But again, it remains to be seen whether or not that comes to pass. And the other thing to bear in mind is, look, for the vast majority of retirees, you know, especially if you're contacting us, for example, if you're contacting us regarding retirement visas and you want to have a consult regarding that, talk to me about Thai tax matters as well. And, you know, I can reference some of the Thai tax lawyers and accountants here in the office and tell you whether or not, you know, it looks like you're going to have to really worry about any tax liability out here. You probably won't. As I've said before, I think in probably four out of five cases, and it's probably a higher number than that, most folks are not going to have to worry about tax liability. Again, I know it's a bit vague. I know it's somewhat confusing, but take a deep breath. You know, this too shall pass to one degree or another and understand that most folks are not going to be liable under this. If you're really worried about it, contact a legal professional, gain some insight and guidance into how best to proceed. 